2021 RAM TRX Review, Blunt Instrument. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Somewhere, deep in the bowels of Stellantis' sprawling North American headquarters in is a room. In that room, there are countdown clocks. And above each clock, is the name of one of the company's products. Ram 1500, Jeep Wrangler, Chrysler Pacifica, Peugeot 308, Ram Promaster, Fiat 500X. These clocks count, to the second, how long it'll be before the automaker shoehorns a Hellcat engine under the hood. Okay, we're kidding a bit, but after Hellcatting and then red-eyeing the Charger and Challenger, introducing the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, and then rolling out the Durango, the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX is the least surprising product variant in years. And while it's immensely powerful and supremely capable off-road, if you climb behind the wheel hoping for anything beyond, Hellcat-powered 1500, you'll be in for some disappointments. Unless you're routinely jumping dunes or pounding down drag strips, the TRX experience doesn't differ much from the standard truck. The overarching design philosophy for pickup trucks during the last decade has been more. But we salute Ram's restraint in transforming the traditional 1500 into the TRX. Unlike the Ford F-150 Raptor, which goes to sometimes absurd lengths to distinguish itself from the standard truck, the TRX is a bit more under the radar. Subtract the hood scoop and the wildly flared fenders, and the TRX could pass for the flashy 1500 Rebel trim. Indeed, the two cars share quite a lot, the grille designs, the overall shape of the hood, and the shapes of the front and rear bumpers are all similar enough that, were it not for the engine badging on the hood or the black TRX badge on the tailgate, a passerby might never realize what this truck is. Ram exhibited similar restraint in the cabin, which adopts an sportier steering wheel, a TRX-branded drive mode controller, a console-mounted gear lever, a dedicated launch control button, and Meteor seats. Beyond those touches and the splash of carbon fiber trim on the dash, this truck interior is indistinguishable from a standard Ram 1500. The interior irks us less than the exterior, though. Ram is building the best interiors in the pickup truck game, and the TRX is as plush and well-appointed as any of its less powerful siblings. There's ample leather, attractive contrast stitching, and the sort of small detailing on the plastic pieces that helps us forget that it's not genuine metal. Functionally, the steering wheel rim is well padded and wears its mix of Alcantara, leather, and carbon fiber proudly, it's an attractive item that suits the TRX's purpose. We just wish the rest of the interior felt so distinctive. Ram knows how to build a comfortable truck interior and the TRX's mission hasn't gotten in the way of that. The front seats are big and cushy, with sizable bolsters that provide plenty of support. Designed for all manner of body types, we had little trouble finding a reasonable seating position. The back of the TRX is as cavernous as on any other Ram 1500 crew cab, meaning there's Bentley besting legroom and headroom. The rear bench is pretty comfy, too, although not as supportive as the front chairs. If we were jumping dunes, we'd rather be in the first row. Despite our testers' 35-inch Goodyear Wrangler mud tires, road noise is rarely an issue, and the ride is very smooth. You could absolutely drive a Ram TRX on a regular basis without worrying about hearing loss or back problems. In-cabin storage space is adequate too, with a large center console and that immense backseat.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.